Welcome to a brand new edition of Bid Nerd, your daily nerd out on the most interesting car of the day. My name is John Polnick. There it is right down below me. We are recording in the Container Park in downtown Las Vegas, along with my partner, Michael Deeb in San Francisco. Hello, Michael Deeb. Hello. <laughs> How are you? What's going on? Uh, I am very well. We are just getting right after it today. Uh, we are talking about some interesting cars. What we do, if you're brand new to this channel, we find the most interesting car of the day from all the uh, auction sites like P Car Market, Bring a Trailer Cars, and Bids and More. Uh, once we uh, once we decide what that most interesting car is, we have a conversation about that car with you. We discuss the ups and downs on those particular cars. Uh, then we make a prediction as to what's going to happen with that car's auction. Will it fail to sell? Will it sell? And if so, for how much? Uh, you can play along with us, like the price is right, and make a bid uh, in the comments below. And then later in the show, we go into the future and we find out what actually happened with that car's results. Uh, we discuss the results and then uh, we move on to the next car tomorrow. So today's most interesting yeah. car of the day is, uh, I, you know, I, these are interesting. These have been really they hot are. right now. Uh, and uh, what do we got, Michael D? What's that? All right, JP, check it out. So what we're talking about is a 2022 Ford Bronco Badlands Edition. Uh, this is the smaller platform, two-door, short wheelbase, 2.3 liter EcoBoost four-cylinder. Um, and then the guy who bought this car, it's a manual transmission. The guy who bought this car uh, went to his local Grand Auto and then threw the threw the catalog at it. So he, he's got, let me read this to you, JP. I want to make sure I get it right. He's got 22-inch wheels. They're called fuel off-road wheels. He put 35-inch tires on there, and then a company called Crete Systems, a 3.5-inch lift kit. The guy tinted the windows and threw a sound system in there, um, and it's uh, it's pretty badass. I I don't like the low profile of the tires, but I like the idea that they're like these grippy, knobby tires, and I love matte black wheels. They're just too big for my taste. This doesn't look like a car you would actually take off-road. Uh, which is kind of a bummer. I think the smaller wheel, bigger tire um, would be my style, but I like the colorway and I like the attempt at it. Um, I also love the color of this car, um, whatever the name of that color, Area 51, John, is the name of that color, by the way. The seven-speed manual. Did you know that this little thing makes 300 horsepower and has 325 pounds foot of torque? I mean, that is nothing like a Jeep Wrangler as far as I can tell. This probably can get out of its own way. Um, super nice car here in Dublin, California. That's just across the bay from me, JB. Uh, it only has 3,300 miles. And I forgot to mention that our car is on Doug DeMiro's site, Cars and Bids, which I would say is probably the right platform for this car. So, uh, JP, uh, is this uh, a, a, a vision of what's to come that we're going to see, you know, these smaller, personalized, you know, Ford Broncos? customed out like almost every other jeep wrangler that's on the road today for the last 30 40 50 years is that what's going to become of this new version of the bronco that everybody's going to get one and then put their stuff on it and that each one is going to be unique in some way yeah i mean th this is such a stupid brodozer build i mean you're absolutely right no <laughs> one is no no one is, that's a that's a Snohomish, uh, right? That's, yeah, that's, that's I mean, look, you, <laughs> these guys. That, you know, you mentioned the horsepower on these. You know, I've driven one of these before, and and they do yeah. have some poop, right? But it is yeah. a small. It's a two point three liter engine. Um, yeah. And yeah, it's got the little turbo and yeah, it gets out of its own way, but you, you start to put big, huge wheels like this on it. Uh, and that really, really affects the performance of the car. Um, and yeah. you know, this type of wheel where you, you mentioned it, you're, uh, I'm proud of you, Michael Deeb, you're learning, right? Yeah. Uh, these big, <laughs> huge wheels and tires, 
Like, okay, no if you're going to do the big, huge wheels and tires, you got to go small wheel uh, and lots of sidewall because, you know, yeah. when you go off-road, uh, anyone who actually off-roads knows this is the term air down. Have you ever heard of that term, Michael Deeb? No, um, I have not. So when what you go off, yeah, because like in a sports car, even in a sports car, right, you, you're always adjusting the uh, the tire pressure. It makes a big difference on how yeah. much grip and how much uh, unsprung yeah. weight there is, right? If you ever watch a drag yeah. race car, you you see it in slow yeah. motion, you see the wheel start to spin first and then the tire, it gets stretched Wrinkles. out the sidewall and then it yeah. snaps forward like a rubber band, right? Well, yeah. when you're going off road, um, what you want to do is you want to air down the tire pressure so that that tire flexes and molds over the top of obstacles like rocks and, and logs and stuff and gets more surface area on obstacles so you can get more grip over the top of it. The last thing you want is a low profile tire uh, it, with a high tire pressure uh, that, that's going to limit the surface area for grip. Um, and, it, you know, like a lot of like legit uh, off-road vehicles if you're doing the overlanding or crawling over stuff uh, they'll build air down systems directly in the vehicle where for, you can wow. flip a switch and rate and increase or lower the tire pressure um, wow this That's is cool. purely for show the, you, if yeah. you take this off-road you hit a rock on one of those spokes and you bust a wheel like you know aluminum doesn't you're, bend you're it's gonna done. crack that's yeah. it you it's gotta done. go you gotta switch your wheel whereas on a steel wheel like an old school steel wheel you might bend one but with a rock or a hammer you can bend it back in place uh and, and you know actually get pressure again so this yeah. is just so stupid the other thing you know i agree with you on the color i think it's a really cool it's like a classic color uh my you know our friend sean teague uh in, down there in uh in palm springs you know one of the r group guys and i believe he's the director of the steve mcqueen foundation down there uh oh, wow. and he also runs uh thermal or i don't know if he runs thermal but he's He's a permanent Vault. fixture at Thermal uh, yeah, down there, yeah. uh, the uh, the racetrack down there in Palm Springs. Uh, super great guy. Saw him at Luftkult 8 uh, a few weeks ago, and we were jibber-jabbing. He, it was so awesome. He was, like, in the VIP section, and he dragged Rami and I in there. It was great. Thanks again, uh, Sean. That was really uh, generous of you. We had a great time, and we plan on visiting you down, very in, cool. or, uh, down in uh, Palm Springs very soon. But he mentioned he got one of these as his daily driver, and he was talking about how he got the steel wheels and painted them white uh yeah. you know and put the big oh knobby you know put the big tires on it that's so the way you cool. do it right it looks it harkens back to what they used to be like and that's the success of the bronco is that it's so successfully and perfectly reminds you of what the old ones look like and give you all yeah. the right things from a modern point of view this ruins all of that this person yes. screwed it up you did it wrong, bro dude. dozer. <laughs> you are bro dozer. You are what's wrong with the world. You are what's bro wrong with dozer. car culture. Uh, this doesn't. This just takes all the nostalgia that's so fantastic about the new Bronco and just takes a pee on it. Let's be honest. You just you oh, man, it all that's up. So funny, you know. So funny you mentioned that a car with the white wheels. So, yeah. Uh, I was just in Vegas last week and I got to hang out with you and all the guys. Uh, my sister had left something at a friend of hers house, so I went by this guy's house to get this pick up this item for my sister and his girlfriend had a discovery short wheelbase and it was mm. uh, blue and she had a white roof and she put on white steel wheels just nice. steel wheels with like holes in it and had them and they're painted white and so when I when I knocked on the guy's door I was like by the way is that your Defender 90 and his girlfriend goes no that's mine and I was like oh, that's I said sick. who put the wheels on for you and she said oh this place in town in Vegas she goes I went in and, and they found me white wheels and put the tires on the whole thing I said and I just and I just started clapping I said bravo I said nice touch I took photos of it and everything it looked fantastic she did such a great job matching it with the white roof touch touch that was so good but I agree with you JP this car um missed the mark by uh by a lot um and i you know i'm i'm guessing he wants all his money back too so let's see what happens yeah i mean do you know why these cars are so typically well the original ones like you know you look at the old broncos and you look at the old cjs uh they're yeah. always orange right or they're always bright yeah. blue and they have the white tops and they have so you can find them yeah, when you when you get stuck out in the middle of nowhere and they got to fly an airplane out to find you, they can spot you really yeah. easily. Um, so yeah, that's I mean it's legit. That's what they were for. That's 
so true. That's so true. Functionality. So, this guy ruined it all. What what is this gonna thing what is this thing gonna sell for? The Badlands a, demand a lot of extra a, money. The Badlands broke under out of Dublin, California hmm. with thirty three hundred miles, and I'm guessing about twelve to fifteen thousand dollars in extras on this car. Uh, this car stickered John for forty six thousand five hundred dollars. Um, as far as I can tell, and I, I'm not saying you couldn't go to your Ford dealer and get one. I'm just saying these cars are still in demand, and Ford dealers are probably still putting pretty massive addendums to sell their cars, even right off the lot. Yeah. Um, so I would say that the, the Bronco is still in demand. I'm not saying it's impossible, but I wouldn't be surprised if this guy paid over sticker um, from when it was brand new. So I'm guessing that we're probably looking at this, this car might actually bring over a sticker. I'm going to say, JP, I don't know if he's going to give those bros or money back, but I'm going to say 50 grand uh, get this car because if you want to go to your dealer, I bet the conversation starts at 65 and, uh, and you don't get any of the extras that are on this car. So I'm going to say 50 uh, is what, uh, is what it'll take to bring this car home. Yeah, I'm going to have to go, I'll probably go like 60, um, you know, a oh, bad really? land. You... Yeah, bad. Yeah. I mean, like, like the basic ones, like the, the stripped yeah. down uh, versions uh, are $50,000 all day. Like, you know, wow. Wow. most, wow. most retail places are asking like 51, 50, yeah, CarMax so I'm like, wants like, yeah. you know, 48 to 51, depending on stuff with a bad lands. You got another, you know, easy, another $10,000 on this. Um, you know, this guy probably thinks he's going to get 70 or 80 is the thing. Uh, so it'll be interesting to see if it just straight up fails to sell. Uh, but, uh, if he, you know, if it only brings 50 grand, um, he lost his ass because you're absolutely right. He paid way, way, way more for that. Uh, depend yeah. how, did it say how long he's owned it? No, I assume he owned it since, since it was new. So yeah. he's had it, you know, less than a year. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And people were paying big premiums for him for a year. Uh, what do you guys think of the mods on this uh, Bronco? Did the owner ruin it uh, or did they make it? just right just for you are you bidding on this thing uh put us put in the comments below what you think this bronco will get bid to will it uh sell will it fail to sell let us know we want to hear from you play the prices right game with us we won't give you a prize Ooh. at all even if you win we might acknowledge you acknowledge that you won uh a little later in the show but we're going to take off for just a second we'll be right back and tell you exactly what happened with this bronco Hey guys, I'm super excited to tell you about our sponsor, Guys Customs. That's Guys, G-Y-X underscore customs. That's how you spell it, Guys Customs bracelets. These things are amazing. Check them out. They're handmade in America, custom bracelets made to match your watch or your car. These things are unbelievable. I have three or four of them myself. My partner, Michael Deeb, has a bunch of them. Uh, they're pretty addictive once you get one. Each one of them are bespoke. We're talking, uh, we're talking carbon fiber. We're talking titanium. We're talking stainless steel glass. There's none of this cheap Chinese garbage that you see a lot of bracelets being made out there. These ones are super high quality. They're made right here in America. When you go to Guys Customs on Instagram, it's about the only place that you can order one of these. Uh, when you DM the artist, you're actually reaching the real artist when you DM Guys Customs at Instagram. Uh, and she will make you a bracelet made to match that special watch that special car or that special person that has a special watch or a special car and they want something really, really cool, uh, in their life. These are the, they make the most amazing gifts. Um, I get compliments on mine all the time. Everywhere I go, people are like, wow, that's really cool. You can see in the pictures, uh, you know, these beads, the, the colored beads, are PTS. They're paint to sample. So if you have a specific color code for your car, she'll have beads made that are specifically painted to match your car or your watch. It's unbelievable. You got to get one of these guys, customs, bracelets, check them out. They support us. Uh, and we really, really, really want to support them. Guys, customs, bracelets. All right, let's get back to the bids. Let's find out how much that car sold for today. 
Hey guys, welcome back to Bid Nerd, your daily nerd out of the most interesting car of the day from all the automotive enthusiast auction sites. Uh, thanks for sticking around after the break, guys. I know that you took that time to hit the subscribe, like, and notification button, so we really appreciate your having done so. Uh, and if you haven't already, come on, it's time to join the herd. Be a nerd. Let's you know go. you are one if you're watching this far yeah. into the show. Uh, Michael D, we've got a little bit of a uh, bro dozer here going on. And bro I dozer, yeah. You know, bra. Do the should we be calling this a bra dozer because it's a bronco bra. and that's also appropriate? Oh, bra. There, bra, bra, do bra dozer, yeah. I took my this cool classic bronco bra. and made it a bra vehicle. Bra, bra dozer, yeah. Bra. The most interesting bra dozer of the day. Um, <sighs> Yeah, this was interesting while we were covering it, and then it stopped being interesting. <laughs> 2022 Ford Bronco Badlands with all the Badlands Brodozer accoutrement, including those 22-inch wheels. I love the Area 51 paint scheme. I, I like this, like, you know, bluish gray with the black wheels, uh, and I, I love the idea of it being lit. The, the motor, I, I, I wasn't paying attention. The motor is a beast. I love that this thing has 300 horsepower and over 300 pounds foot of torque with a manual transmission. But these 22s uh, just have no place for me. And I, apparently the audience has spoken, JP, and they agree. It turns out this guy's not going to get all his money back, at least not on Doug DeMiro's site. Hmm. John, I thought that this car would bring over sticker at 50000 You thought with the rarity of the car... Um, and how hard it is to get them, plus all the equipment, that this guy might actually get 60000 or at least 60000 is what's invested here. But our car failed to sell at $44,500 on 22 bids, short of MSRP, GP. Nobody's giving this guy his money back for this car. Do you think, like I had sort of, I think I alluded to this earlier, that he should pull the wheels of the car, sell them separately, and just put the stock wheels and top back on. He could the lift kit; it would probably still look better, right? Uh, yeah, for sure. I think these wheels are really, really controversial. I mean, there are certainly people that. W I mean, on, I don't know. I mean, the type of person that wants this type of vehicle loves this. There are definitely people out there that really dig this thing. Um, yeah. Doug DeMiro has done well with like overland vehicles, like yes. land cruisers yeah. and True. uh Range Rover, not Range Rover, well, yeah, R Rovers, yeah, Range Rovers and uh, you know, Cayennes that have been lifted and stuff like that. But one Jeeps, thing you never, Jeeps, yeah, yeah, Jeeps, one thing you never see on any of those overland vehicles are these big, gaudy mall, uh, you know, off road mall wheels. These are for yeah. you know, going through the Starbucks. Th this is this is so when you can't get around the corner because you're stuck between two Volvos and a, and a Prius or a Tesla or something like that in the, <laughs> in the Starbucks line that you can get yeah. over the curb. You know, the, these are never yeah. going to see off road. They're just stupid. Um, yeah. so, you know, it, I don't know the Badlands. Look, I, I love Broncos and I, full disclosure. I like, I'm considering maybe even getting one, but if I get one, it's definitely not going to be a Badlands. I like the Badlands interior. Um, it's got, uh, you know, the nicer, you know, all the nicer stuff, uh, the leather and all that kind of stuff. But, um, you know, it, I just don't think it's really worth the extra money over, uh, honestly, a base one with some decent tires on it with the smaller wheels uh, and the cloth interior is going to hold up better. Uh, you know, the, the, the interior on these is a little too whiz bang as it is. And when you get into uh -huh. the Badlands configuration, it gets really whiz bang. Now, I again, I think Ford that's this is what Ford the Ford buyer wants I mean you look at Jeep Wranglers it's the same thing they go you know people are really into tech um, and I just don't think this is a vehicle where it's too much tech belongs um, so I don't know I yeah this this result su kind of surprises me but it also <coughs> makes sense for Doug DeMiro's site I think this car is too much mall bro dozer <laughs> than overlander yeah. and uh, yeah I think the I think he definitely would have gotten more money with the stock wheels uh, question is would he have gotten I mean I wonder what his reserve was uh, you know and and the, at 44 oh, this thing only making it to 44 is a surprise because most base Broncos out there are kind of in yeah. that just under 50,000 range. They're like 45 to 52 or something like that. Um, yeah. So to get a Badlands one, uh, you know, was this guy's reserve in the 50s? Was it in the 60s? How short did he come on his reserve? Yeah. 
Uh, and uh, I bet he's glad he didn't go no reserve on this auction because he would have been pretty oh, disappointed. Sure. Yeah. It's just interesting. He never mentions that he's going to give you the stock wheels and tires with the car, mm. which I think is weird, and I think yeah. that's what scares people off. Um, these, you know, these wheels and tires on this short wheelbase to Badlands, cartoonish. Yet, yeah, those wheels and tires in Las Vegas would look at home on some Super Duty F-250 yeah. you know, with neon lights and stuff. And so I, there's a market for those wheels and there's a market for this car. Uh, but together, they're so niche, he can't find a buyer anywhere out there, at least Doug DeMiro's audience, with the same taste as him. So yeah. that's sad and it's laughable because, yeah. you know, it's so bro-dozer. Oh well, well. What do you guys think? Is this uh, did uh, did this Bronco <clears throat> seller should he have uh, should he have lowered his reserve and taken that money? Is that all the money someone's going to be able to get for this thing, or do you think uh, people just it just wasn't the right platform? Let us know in the comments below. Look, hey, I don't know if you've noticed, Deep. There's a lot of folks making comments lately that are better at this than us. Ross, of course, there are. And those guys, they're they're just. Consistently they're just showing off now. They're just showing off now. That's all they're doing. Uh, they're bucking <clears> they're just for stickers our... is what they want. They want a bid nerd sticker, uh, and we're going to okay. print some of those up soon. Some back. hats. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that is coming. All right, guys, uh, hit the subscribe, like, notification button if you haven't done it already, and uh, we'll see you tomorrow with the most interesting car of the day. Aww. Ah!